ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 28th. The last day of February is continuing to be a stormy day, especially to the south and southeast of the Birmingham area. Let's get right to our SkyCam network this morning, and you can see it looks like the rain is pretty much over at Birmingham, not the precipitation, which we'll see a little bit later, and uh, rain still falling as we look at the Clanton SkyCam, a lot of rain on the lens down there. Rainfall amounts running from uh, about uh, two and a half inches to as much as six inches. Here is the uh, surface map this morning, and the surface low is moving through central Alabama along the cold front. Whatever your temperatures are this morning, I suspect you're not going to see much in the way of changes. Here comes at the upper atmosphere our, uh, our real interesting next feature, and that is as we get the severe weather out today, we're going to see a cold core upper low, and that's uh, going to be responsible for what I think could be some rather widespread snow, although I still think the amounts will be uh, on the order of probably one to two inches, so uh, from a dusting up to maybe as much as two inches. Temperature-wise, you can see where the cold front is with temperatures across the southeast in the 60s, but then quickly dropping into the 30s across northern Arkansas and west Tennessee. Closer to home, temperatures, what uh, what you have this morning is probably what you're going to see for your highs. Notice we go from the, the 66, 70 down in the south central part of the state of Alabama all the way to 45 up at Muscle Shoals. Radar-wise, we're still getting warnings uh, ahead of the um, main band of showers, uh, especially in the Montgomery area at the time I'm doing this. And uh, the tornado watch is still in effect there, but a number of winter weather advisories are in effect uh, to our northwest as the that uh, cold core low comes our way. This is the tornado watch, which I'm sure will be extended off to the east a little bit later today. QPF-wise, not a lot of precipitation in our future, although uh, most of that will be wintry, so of course lots of interest. And the Storm Prediction Center is out looking a large area of the southeastern half of Alabama, Georgia, and a large part of northwest Florida and uh, north Florida for severe weather today. All right, here's the uh, map situation. The surface low expected to move fairly quickly into north Georgia by this afternoon. And by tomorrow, here comes that closed low, and that is going to be producing some uh, interesting weather for us. Here is the map at midnight, and uh, you can see the surface low over uh, South Carolina, just off the coast there with lots of moisture. And I think the main band of snow is going to run from roughly about Muscle Shoals down toward Auburn, uh, Opelika area. Now by 12Z, or uh, first thing in the morning tomorrow morning, uh, the surface low is getting off, and you can see the precipitation amounts are diminishing, but certainly cold. I think we'll see precipitation going uh, throughout the day. By Monday, uh, as you can see here, the uh, surface low extending up the mid-Atlantic coast states and uh, off just offshore, producing, of course, some winter weather problems for them up there. But we're beginning to show signs of moderating, although it still will be a cool day. We settle into uh, uh, a pattern where the ridge is coming our way on Tuesday, and that should continue the moderation, uh, although it's not going to be a especially warm day. Moderation continues, as, as you can see from, see from the thicknesses, and moisture begins to return off to our uh, west ahead of the next uh, storm system in the central U.S. Here comes the trough associated with that system on Thursday, and uh, that will be developing a surface low that will be moving up across the central U.S., and that uh, is going to be shunted off to the northeast a little bit, the influence being uh, less felt down here uh, because of the strong ridge or relatively strong ridge. So uh, moisture somewhat limited according to the GFS on Friday, and that would be our next shot at some precipitation. The ridge uh, comes into place on Saturday, which should keep us uh, high and dry. And, very, uh, and then Sunday, uh, we're watching the development of the next trough off to our west, and uh, that could bring or should bring another storm system to the central U.S. So uh, certainly an active weather pattern. Real quick out into voodoo land, uh, the system rel or the uh, whole pattern relatively benign until uh, Wednesday, the 11th. And here comes a very strong uh, trough uh, across the U.S. And with that southwesterly flow, of course, that could be setting us up for additional rains. And uh, with the rain we've had over the last uh, day and day or so, uh, that could be some interesting uh, problems as the rivers respond a little slower. And then here is uh, the um, 500 millivar pattern for Sunday. 
uh, the 15th, the Ides of March, and it shows another uh, trough in our way. Well, stay uh, up with the weather blog today as we uh, continue to post things for the developing winter weather situation for Central Alabama. Certainly appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Have a great Saturday. 